to the channel. I'm so glad you can join me again on the channel here where this channel is solely dedicated to collecting physical media from all over the world. Today I've got something really special for all of you. I've been asked for a long time to do a room tour of the room that I film in and kind of show off some of the collection that I have accrued over the years. So today we're going to be diving into and doing a room tour of the room that I'm in. And I do have several other displays and several other like basically Blu-ray racks in other rooms, but we're just going to stick to this one today. So this is going to be part one of my room tour. And if all of you enjoy this and enjoy me going through this, I'll do more of these as time goes on to kind of update the channel and basically get you guys more info on uh, what I've added to the collection, new racks I've gotten, things like that. So while I'm doing the tour of this, you're not going to see me, obviously. You're going to see my hands and I'm going to be holding the camera going through the room, pointing out some unique things about what I have, what I've added to my collection over the years and things like that. And then I'll come back at the end and kind of wrap things up. But I did want to just let you know, so you won't be seeing my face for the rest of this time. It's going to be about my collection. And before we go into this collection, I did just want to cover something real quick with all of you. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. That really helps me out. Make sure to give this video a like. Click that subscribe button down below so that way you're subscribed to the channel and you don't miss out on any of this exciting content and the bell notification right next to it. And then you can always follow me on my Instagram or on my Facebook, which is just the name of the channel, In Search of Physical Media. And I'm going to point out one other thing. The microphone that I use here connects to my camera. I can't use that microphone when I'm doing the room tour because I can't hold the microphone and hold the camera at the same time. So the sound will be slightly different when I'm doing the actual room tour. So just keep that in mind. I can't do anything about it. The sound's going to be as good as it's going to be just from the camera itself because I can't carry the mic while I'm doing this. So when it does sound different when we switch here to the room tour, just understand that's why it is. So let's dive into this room tour now. Okay, we're gonna start over here in this corner. This is kind of back where I film. And if you can see here, I actually have a rack here that has a bunch of basically my TV shows and things I've collected um, that I kind of put on that rack a lot of my older TV shows. It's not all of them. The stuff that's stacked here is basically just stuff I have duplicates of that I'm either selling or getting rid of. So I have a lot of duplicates there. So that's kind of what that stack is. That's why it's not organized in any shape or form. Then under here, there is some empty spaces under these shelves here. Spaces under this rack here are things that I'm organizing that I haven't filled in all my Star Trek collection. I'm moving it from another shelf that's behind us over here. But then I have up here through Westerns and some other TV series that I have. And then on top, I just started moving some of my Superman collection over there with my Batman stuff. And then I have some basically war uh, TV series and Blu-rays, things like that. My Murder, She Wrote. I've done reviews on all those, which by the way, back in this corner, all this kind of stuff that's listed here. Most of this, I've done a lot of this stuff for reviews of it on the channel. So if you wanna check any of those out, they are on the channel for reviews on most of those. Um, then I list out a bunch of Blu-rays here and I, in case you're wondering how I kind of like basically categorize things, I do it based off of this side over here, this wall that we're kind of going through here, which we're gonna go down, is things that I'm into watching right now, which means I'm basically haven't watched them lately and that I'm going to watch them and then basically move them from this rack. And sorry about the shaky camera and moving across here, not meaning to make you dizzy here, but they will move over to this rack. So this rack that's on the other side of the room is basically, or racks, because there's tons of them. But these are things I just recently watched and done watching. And when they get done on these racks from watching them, I move them over to that rack over there. So that might seem a little confusing for you, but that's just how I kind of do them. Up above here, I do have DVD TV series and things like that up here. And these are all DVDs on top. And these are ones that I'm in the middle of watching right now. So that's why they haven't been moved over to the other rack on the other side yet. Um, and then coming down here, in case you're wondering why there's some empty spots here, back on this table that's right below where I'm basically um, talking about the Star Trek stuff here, this stuff is all stuff that digital codes and stuff that I'm still dealing with that I basically I don't keep my digital codes because I don't do digital services. So basically until I get rid of them, then all those get filled in in these empty spots that you see right here, right here, and right here. So that's why there's stuff on the table here. These are new stuff I've just gotten in that basically I haven't finished up dealing with that then they go in the empty spots. So that's why those are there. Um, I do have some of my Stargate collection right there, but I'm watching Stargate SG-1, that series. I'm still going through that. And that one's in the other room where I have some of my other collection. 
Now, something I did want to point out, and this has been a big deal lately. So there are some right here. If you see those, um, basically Paramount Presents collection that's right there. I've been really big into those lately. I have been enjoying those Paramount Presents collection and I really like those. But I've got three of them right now, which I've talked about on my uh, basically uh, Instagram and Facebook. So those are something big that I've really enjoyed is those three that are right there. And so I want to get basically most of those Paramount Presents collection, but I just got those three. So going up top here, again, TV sets here. And I will give you some statistics on how many things I have and kind of like where I came from those. So kind of standing here for a minute before we go into the next portion of it here, I'll kind of give you some data on what I kind of basically like added up just in this room. So the room we're standing in, and I'll do a quick basically pan here to show you, and then I'll give you some data and then go through some of the rest of the shelves. But basically, if I pan around here, that's the door right there, obviously. And then this is all 4Ks on this rack here. So this is almost all 4Ks except for the stuff on top. That Batman collection that you see right there is a 4K Batman Steelbook collection, which is damaged. If you don't notice, it has a little dent or ding on the top of it, but it is damaged, but that was because it got damaged in shipping. But other than that, I do like that collection. And then I have my X-Files, which I'm a huge X-Files fan. That's right there. I love X-Files. And then Rawhide desperately needs to be put on Blu-ray. It's not, it's only on DVD still. And then coming down here, I obviously have my Columbo collection, which is right there. And then down here, these are all 4Ks. And again, the reason why there's some empty spots in these shelves is before I did this video, the empty spots that you see here, I went through and organized and took some of the things and moved them around in this room because um, my wife kind of thought it was a little bit messy to do a video on because I kind of had stacks of things kind of like on the floor and things like that over here and well not in front of that door but down here in front of this so i had to clean it up a little bit and i didn't want it to look that way so that's why there is some empty spots it's not because i don't have the collection it, it, i do it's just that if you notice i have some boxes down here full of stuff and like i said i'm, I'm just kind of in the middle of moving stuff around so i wanted to get this out so you can kind of see what we're at right now but that's why there is some empty spots but that is where I keep most of my 4Ks is this entire rack that you see right here. Then coming over here, this is the rack I told you about and I'm gonna try to get it in the video here so you can kind of see it. Up top here, and to give you an example of height wise, so you kind of get an idea how big this rack is that you're seeing up here. Up here, I'm about a little over six foot. I'm six foot one almost. And my head comes to about where this Vegas is. So that shows you how tall this is. Um, these stacked up here probably come up to eight, eight and a half, nine feet, somewhere like that. I mean, it's, it's pretty darn tall up here. Maybe about eight feet is what I'm talking about. So, um, the rack goes all the way down and these are completely full all the way across. And sorry if you don't like my finger, but that's the only way I can think of, of how to show this easily since I'm not in the video. So all of these are things that I've recently watched and basically have put over here because I'm done watching them for the moment. And so I move them back from basically the racks that you saw behind us to over here if I have basically already watched it recently. And that's kind of how I move things back and forth. And they are categorized by certain things like certain TV shows are all together. This is mostly TV shows on this rack. Over here I have Disney and Universal Films. Then over here I have Warner Brothers and 20th Century Fox. And then this top rack that you see that runs across here that my finger is blocking right now where it has the Dawn of the Dead set that I asked just recently if you guys wanted me to do a review on that set. That's the 4K set. And that was actually something on my recent video that I just did for the Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure 4K. And I asked if you guys wanted me to do a review basically on that set right there, the Dawn of the Dead. And then also on Rad 4K. So if you haven't seen that, go to that video and watch that. So if you haven't seen that yet, Check out the Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure 4K review. That's on the Steel Book, and I do ask if you guys wanted me to do a review on that. But anyhow, continuing on, down here along the bottom part here is all Christmas films. I have those that run along that bottom part there, and then this up here is 20th Century Fox as well. And then obviously I have my Stranger Things 4Ks right there. And then I'll talk about these the top of this rack here for a minute. Most of this top three layers that you see right up here. These three layers are basically all DVDs. Now there is some Blu-rays right here in this corner, but all of the rest of these that you see all up here are all DVDs. 
Most of these are my Western DVDs that go across here and then Western up here. Now I will talk about a couple here just for a minute. I have a couple of things I did want to point out. You guys kind of ask about my collection and things that are worth a lot of money or that are really important in my collection that I enjoy. And if you can see the Young Riders set here and the Lonesome Dove TV series, this is not the Lonesome Dove movies. This is actually the TV series that ran for two seasons and it was released on DVD and 10 DVD set for a very limited time. And that set now goes anywhere between, I think it's like $70 all the way up to $200 just for that Lonesome Dove set. And I absolutely love that set, but it does desperately need a Blu-ray upgrade. But that is one of those sets that literally I bought it for five bucks on DVD and now it's worth, like I said, almost hundred bucks. But this Young Riders is a really unique one here. Um, I don't know if most of you have ever seen this, but Young Riders was a very, very unique set at the time because if you can see this, it had tons of actors in it. Stephen Baldwin, Josh Brolin, Brett Cullen, Travis Fine, Melissa Leo, Ty Miller, Greg Rainwater, Yvonne Shaher and Anthony Zerbe. But I really like Josh Brolin in it. Stephen Baldwin was great in it. Um, there was a ton of great actors that were in this show. Now the first season you can still buy and I'll post the link down below for the first season, but the rest of it has been out of print for years and years. And now this set for seasons one through three, so this entire set that you see here, now goes for just each season two and season three go for $200 a piece of that set there. That's how rare that set is. They were not printed very many. My understanding of like that set, there was only like a handful ever printed. But I do have my set and it is in mint condition. Most of these are all in mint. And if you're wondering why some of them are still sealed, it's because I have multiple copies. As I told you, some of the times I buy multiple copies of things, it's because I kind of forget sometimes um, that I bought one or I buy one because I hear it's going out of print and I want to have an extra copy. So that's why I like some of my bonanzas are still sealed. But I do have two leverages over here. There's a leverage there and there's a leverage there. I have two of those as well. But I, that is my Western collection. I thought you might like to know that there is some Western sets out there, especially DVD sets like The Virginian's another one. If you can see my Virginian collection here, I have the entire series of The Virginian. Love that Western show. And The Virginian has been out of print for a long time. Shout Factory bought Timeless Media years ago and they basically have never released um, basically what Timeless Media did. They sold out of it and then you can get like one or two seasons here or there, but it's impossible to finish your collection of the Virginian. It is extremely expensive, but I have my complete collection. So that's why when I talk about DVDs, I do still collect some DVDs. I just try to always buy them on Blu-ray. I would rather have the Blu-ray copies of what you see rather than having obviously the DVDs. And then I have my Rifleman collection over here. This is, um, the complete series collection it's signed and everything like that and that's a nice collection as well so we're going to come back over here for a minute not meaning to bounce around here for a second but on my 4k wall i do have my colombo set which is right there and as far as these things go i do collect 4ks a lot so i do have a large collection of 4ks and i'm going to give you some statistics on the 4ks that i, I had 634 4ks when i got through it that's not separating so i didn't count like Okay, if you see there, Mission Impossible's 4K collection, that has, I think, six movies in it is what it says. Yeah, six movies on 4K. I didn't count that as six, I counted that as one. So when I say 634 4Ks, I didn't count all the box sets as how many different like movies or like the Matrix collection down here and um, Fast and the Furious collection. I just counted each of those as one. So in that example, when I say 634 4Ks, that's just counting all those box sets as one individual. So it's actually way more than that. I just didn't want to have to count each disc individually. So same thing applies to when I'm talking about all my DVDs. Now, I told you that I do have some other racks in some other rooms. So I have one this size and one this size and then two this size of racks that are in other rooms with Blu-rays and DVDs in them as well that I'm not going to do in this video, but maybe in a future video, I'll go through that as well and kind of show you what I have in there. But to give you an idea on my DVD wise, so talking about the DVDs that are on top of each of these that you see here, DVD wise, again, I didn't count any of these individually. It just counted them as the box set. So if it's a big box set and it has three seasons in it, or it has six seasons or like Jag, I think Jag has 10 seasons. Yeah, it does. So I just counted that as one. So to give you an idea, I have way more than what this number is, but I just counted each box set as one individual. And that's just to make it easy. 
So I have 1,770 DVDs. And then for Blu-rays, and that's counting everything that you see listed on these racks, not the 4Ks. I don't include the 4Ks in my Blu-rays, even though they are for 4Ks are on Blu-ray discs. I didn't count those, those are separate. So just counting all the actual Blu-rays by themselves, not separating the seasons, like we talked about, keeping all the seasons together um, as one, basically, just basically one number. So Blu-ray wise, I have 3,510. And again, that's not taking into consideration that obviously like these TV sets that you see here, like Quantum Leap, Magnum, PI, you got uh, all these, you know, Diagnosis Murder. I counted all of those big box sets just as one. Now to give you a little bit of an idea also about basically room size, the room we're in where all this is stored in this room is basically 10 feet by 16 feet. So it's a pretty good size room and it covers wall to wall all the way down to the door. Then it covers the little wall between the door and then it goes all the way down this wall and floor to ceiling basically. And then this is where I film, just to give you an example if you wanna see where I film, that's my desk. And there's my lights and I film there. And that is one of my favorite movie posters of all time of Star Trek First Contact. I absolutely love Star Trek First Contact, as most of you probably well know that watch this channel. Um, the other thing I did separate just to give you guys an idea as far as content wise, what I have, because some of you like these statistics. So to give you an idea of complete series TV sets. So talking about complete series TV sets. So like the Virginian that you see here, that would be considered one complete series TV set would be like this whole Virginian that you see right here. So for that whole Virginian complete series TV set, I counted that as one. So to give you an idea, complete TV series sets, you're looking at for that one, for DVDs only, I have 206 DVD complete series sets. So like the Wild Wild West complete series set, that would count as one. All of the Gunsmoke ones that I have, including the ones that are in the other room, that counts as one complete series. But So I have a total of 206 of those. Then Blu-ray complete series sets, which are gonna be things like, this is the King of Queens complete series box set. Then I have all like the Fringe complete series set here. Here's the Timeless set. Um, then you got down here like Arrow, which I have all the seasons of that, but they're on a different rack, which is up here. The other ones, I got Gotham, there's the rest of Arrow there. And the reason they're separated is those are what I've watched right there. And those are what I have not watched yet. So that's kind of why those are separated like that. It's in my mind, which maybe is a little confusing, but that's how I keep them in my mind so I know what I have and haven't watched. But talking about complete Blu-ray TV series sets, I have 408 complete Blu-ray TV series sets. So it kind of gives you a little bit of statistics as far as why that is. And then as far as some of you have asked me how long I've been collecting, and I'll show you here, I'll go from this side of the room here. So going from over here. So basically I started collecting roughly in 1987 VHS and that's when my mom basically started buying them for me and I started collecting things like that. And I started collecting in 1987, then obviously started collecting DVDs, then Blu-rays and now 4Ks. And I've been collecting physical media for roughly 34 years. So basically over 34 years, I've been accruing stuff like this. And as something new comes out, so like all these shows that are up here, that are at the top of this rack here, I would love to get all of these on Blu-ray. And make sure to stick around till the end of the video because I do have a surprise. If you see this right here, this is the Highlander Complete Series DVD set. There's actually something that I just found out about that's gonna be coming out that I'm gonna be doing a review on the channel. So make sure you stick around till the end of the video when I go back and talk to you here to close out the video because I do have something to talk about with this. But the rest of all these sets that are here, like ER and there's Babylon 5, my DVD set, which that's supposed to be coming out this year that I talked about as well, that we hopefully will be replacing with an actual Blu-ray set that's supposed to be coming out. So all of those though that are on the top, I would love, absolutely love to see all of those sets released on Blu-ray. But a little hidden something on my collection that I did want to point out. A TV show that I absolutely love that was extremely hard for me to find. I don't know if any of you ever saw this, but this is Tech War and it had William Shatner in it, and this is the complete series, and this has actually been out of print for years. Um, this is one of those sets that was released by Madman in Australia, 
And I absolutely loved the set and I love the show. It has all the movies plus the TV series and it's just an absolutely great show. I love the sci-fi show, but this has been out of print for years and I found out somebody noticed it on my wall up here where I had it and sent me a message and they said, have you ever looked up how much that's worth? And basically they said that right now this is going for anywhere between like four to $500. So it's things like that, that if you have DVDs in your collection, it's kind of a fun thing to look at sometimes and see how much some of your stuff's worth. But there's a lot of things that I have in my collection that people point out that say, you know, they've been out of print for years like that. And then I have some here. And then like on that other wall, there's tons of things like those Western series and things like that. There's tons in there. And I did have somebody ask me one time about the combat and the tour of duty series. I have the Tour of Duty series, which should be on Blu-ray, but Fabulous Films has never put it out. It's actually from the UK because this is the only version of Tour of Duty that actually has the original music. So it's not changed or edited like the one that Mill Creek released in the US. This one is the complete series set that has the original music the way it's intended to be. So that's the reason why I have that set and I do enjoy that set. But Combat's another one that's been out of print for years. And this is the entire complete series TV set of combat. And it's a World War II TV series. Highly recommend it, but you can't find it anymore. And it's a great series as well. So that's just a little bit of a tidbit of basically my collection. I hope that uh, you enjoyed this. I tried not to go on too long. I'll give you a real quick spin once more to kind of get you an idea of what we're looking at in here. And if you have some questions about anything or anything you see that you're curious about, let me know because I do collect a lot. There's a lot of my arrow. I've got, you know, the arrow tremors and I've got a bunch of arrow stuff coming in that I'm gonna hopefully be doing a special arrow review. I kind of talked about it on my Instagram and Facebook recently that there's actually a special review I'm planning on doing for some arrow films. And I think you'll all enjoy that as well. So make sure you stick around and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Go down there and click that subscribe button. And I hope you've enjoyed this little room tour. And like I said, in the future, I'll do more of these to kind of show off a little more of my collection so you can kind of see some of my other rooms and my movie room, but this is how I've been collecting and I hope this inspires you to start your collection or to make your collection bigger because I'll tell you this much, I can't stop collecting and I keep getting more and more. And like I said, it's one of those things, just like what you see over here, I got stacks of duplicates and things I've gotten over the years because it is so much fun collecting and having physical media and I wouldn't have it any other way. And it's one of those things my wife and I, when we bought this house, said we had to have a room just for the collection because of how big it's gotten. So that's why we keep adding more and more uh, shelves to the walls. And I will have these shelves to give you an example. Any of these shelves you see here, I'll list those in the description section below this video as well. If you go down to the description section, I'll put all the shelves that I use in here. So that way, if you do want to pick up any of them, they'll be listed down in the description section as well. That way you know what shelves I use if you want to add some. So that way you can start your own collection in your room. Um, I'll put those down in the description section as well. Also, I do list out the TV, the Blu-ray players, all that stuff that I watch everything on. I list those down in the description section as well. So we'll get back to where you can see me and I'll finish up this video and make sure you stick around here for that little hidden surprise. So I hope you all enjoyed the room tour and I'm planning on updating this as I said as time goes on. This is going to be part one of the room tour and I plan on showing more of these as time goes on. I'll show you some of my other collection and I'll probably take you and do my theater room and show you what my family theater room looks like later on as a whole nother tour. But I just wanted to focus on this room for now because a lot of you have asked about it. And I hope you really enjoyed this today because I spent a lot of time cleaning the room and getting it set up so that way I could go through and show you what I'm working on and what I'm doing. When you have this large of a collection, it does get hard over time to keep things organized. And in my mind, I have them organized, but I know when I was going through the room tour, sometimes my organization comes out a little differently than what a lot of you might have in mind. But that's just how I collect and that's how I've done it. So in my mind, I've got my collection figured out and I'm sure each of you have your own collections figured out. And I just wanted to share with you a little bit of that. Now there is something as always I wanted to talk about. I always throw in something special at the end of every one of my videos. So that's why I say, always stick around and watch the whole video till the end because I always have something special I talk about. And I kind of mentioned it a little bit while I was doing the room tour, just slightly. I mentioned that set that's right up there that is actually the Highlander DVD set. I'm gonna be doing a review, complete unboxing on the Highlander Blu-ray set that's coming out. And my understanding is, is it is a slight remaster, upscale and an HD, full HD, basically 1080p HD set that's coming out of the Highlander TV series, which I really enjoyed. And that's gonna be another big one for the channel, just like Stargate SG-1 review was. And that's gonna be exclusive on this channel as well. So once I get that, I will let you know when that one's coming out. Now I'll show you what the temporary box art looks like up over here. 
that's what the temporary box art looks like right now that they basically have said this is just what they have temporary for right now. I don't know that that's gonna be the finalized box art, but that is supposed to come out later this year. And I will have that on the channel here. So that's another exciting one to stick around for. Once I find out the pre-order links available, I'll notify you in the community section on my YouTube channel here. And I don't know if many of you have checked that section out on my YouTube channel. I post things not only on my Instagram and my Facebook, but I post things continually in the community section and it's actually a tab on my YouTube channel. If you're on your mobile phone or your iPad or your mobile device or computer, there's actually a tab called the community section when you're on the main page of In Search of Physical Media, my YouTube channel here. And if you go to that, I post all little links of things I've gotten in or things I find out that are great deals that maybe some of you are gonna to wanna to collect that, hey, this is a complete box series set that's an amazing deal right now. I'll post those in there. So make sure you check that community tab quite often. And if you do click that bell notification down below, it's supposed to notify you when I post things in that community section. That way you know if I have a deal that I found out about or something I got in that you might wanna know about. I post those in there and it's supposed to notify you through that. So make sure you click that bell notification when you subscribe as well. But always check that community tab. There's always new things throughout the week other than just videos I post. There's other things that I get in that I post about in there as well. That's one once I know there's a pre-order link, I'll post that in that community tab as well. But that's a big one that's coming out. The Highlander Complete Series, supposed to be partially remastered, full 1080p HD. And that's another exciting release that I found about that I'm gonna have exclusively a review, unboxing, go through the whole thing and tell you what my opinion is compared to the DVD set. And that's gonna be a big one for the channel later this year as well. So make sure you stick around and stay tuned. I worked really hard on this one and I hope it was what you were expecting. So let me know in the comments below what you thought about the collection and how you categorize your collection, how you have it, if you thought my collection was bigger than what you thought. Just let me know in the comments below what you thought about it and if you enjoyed this. But I'll update these as time goes on and as I get more and more in my collection. So that way you know what I'm adding to it and what I'm not. Every once in a while I'll do an updated room tour and show you some of my other collections. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up Click that subscribe button and the bell notification and check the community tab every once in a while. I have had a fun time today and I hope all of you have had a fun time with me as well. And as always, I hope all of you have a blessed day and I look forward to doing this again real soon.